May the peace of the Lord be with you all. As we bring to you the readings of today's Holy Mass. Come, let us now listen to the Word of God. April 23, 2024 Tuesday of the fourth week of Easter Memorial of St. George, Martyr A reading from the Acts of the Apostles Those who were scattered because of the persecution that took place over Stephen traveled as far as Phoenicia, Cyprus, and Antioch, and they spoke the word to no one except Jews. But among them were some men of Cyprus and Cyrene who, on coming to Antioch, spoke to the Hellenists also, proclaiming the Lord Jesus. The hand of the Lord was with them, and a great number became believers and turned to the Lord. News of this came to the ears of the church in Jerusalem, and they sent Barnabas to Antioch. When he came and saw the grace of God, he rejoiced, and he exhorted them all to remain faithful to the Lord with steadfast devotion, for he was a good man, full of the Holy Spirit and of faith. And a great many people were brought to the Lord. Then Barnabas went to Tarsus to look for Saul, and when he had found him, he brought him to Antioch. So it was that for an entire year they met with the church and taught a great many people, and it was in Antioch that the disciples were first called Christians. The Word of the Lord Responsorial Psalm The response is, Praise the Lord, all you nations. On the holy mount stands the city he founded, the Lord loves the gates of Zion more than all the dwellings of Jacob. Glorious things are spoken of you, O city of God. Praise the Lord, all you nations. Among those who know me I mention Rahab and Babylon, Philistia too, and Tyre, with Ethiopia, this one was born there, they say. And of Zion it shall be said, this one and that one were born in it, for the Most High Himself will establish it. Praise the Lord, all you nations. The Lord records, as He registers the peoples, this one was born there. Singers and dancers alike say, all my springs are in you. Praise the Lord, all you nations. A reading from the Holy Gospel, according to John. At that time the festival of the dedication took place in Jerusalem. It was winter, and Jesus was walking in the temple, in the portico of Solomon. So the Jews gathered around him and said to him, How long will you keep us in suspense? If you are the Messiah, tell us plainly. Jesus answered, I have told you, and you do not believe. The works that I do in my Father's name testify to me but you do not believe, because you do not belong to my sheep. My sheep hear my voice. I know them, and they follow me. I give them eternal life, and they will never perish. No one will snatch them out of my hand. What my Father has given me is greater than all else, and no one can snatch it out of the Father's hand, the Father and I are one. The Gospel of the Lord Gospel Reflection Why is it that these people did not know that Jesus was the Christ? They wanted Jesus to speak plainly to them, but Jesus surprises them by saying that he already answered their question but they do not believe. This Gospel passage continues the beautiful teaching about Jesus being the Good Shepherd. It's interesting that these people want Jesus to speak plainly about whether or not he is the Christ, but instead, Jesus speaks plainly about the fact that they do not believe in him because they are not listening. They have missed what he has said and are left in confusion. One thing this tells us is that God speaks to us in his own way, not necessarily in the way we would like him to speak. He speaks a mystical, profound, gentle and hidden language. He reveals his deepest mysteries only to those who have come to learn his language.
But to those who do not understand God's language, confusion sets in. If you ever find yourself confused in life, or confused about the plan God has for you, then perhaps it's time to examine how carefully you listen to the way God speaks. We could beg God, day and night, to speak plainly to us, but he will only speak in the way he has always spoken. And what is that language? On the deepest level, it's the language of infused prayer. Prayer, of course, is different than only saying prayers. Prayer is ultimately a relationship of love with God. It's a communication on the deepest level. Prayer is an act of God within our soul by which God invites us to believe in Him, to follow Him, and to love Him. This invitation is continually offered to us, but too often we fail to hear it because we fail to truly pray. Much of John's Gospel, including chapter 10 from which we are reading today, speaks in a mystical way. It's not possible to simply read it like a novel and comprehend all that Jesus says with one read. Jesus' teaching must be heard in your soul, prayerfully, pondered, and heard. This approach will open the ears of your heart to the certitude of the voice of God. Reflect, today, upon the mysterious ways in which God communicates to you. If you do not understand how he speaks, then that is a good starting point. Spend time with this gospel, prayerfully pondering it. Meditate upon Jesus' words, listening for his voice. Learn his language through silent prayer and allow his holy words to draw you to himself. Let us pray. My mysterious and hidden Lord, you speak to me day and night and continually reveal your love to me. Help me to learn to listen to you so that I may grow deep in faith and may truly become your follower in every way. Jesus, I trust in you. Amen. Thank you for watching. Please like, subscribe and share it with your friends and family, so that they may also be blessed as you are. May God bless you.